Hey guys, back again with another video. This time a review on Night in the Woods, a small little indie game that uh, came out not too long ago. Uh, it reviewed quite well. Uh, in fact, this is probably the highest reviewed indie game of the year so far. It got a lot of, of attention. Uh, definitely as far as like the indie games that have come out this year, this is the one that seems to have gotten the most attention. Uh, noticeably, uh, the uh, creator of Undertale, Toby Fox, uh, was praising this game on Twitter. And I looked at this game, and at first when I saw it, it didn't look like something I would enjoy. Uh, this is basically an indie adventure game. It's almost like a visual novel in a lot of ways, where it's mostly story and dialogue driven, with hardly any actual gameplay. But the more I looked into it, and the more I realized like what its themes were, uh, and like what the story was like, and what the characters were like, I thought it was actually eerily relatable. Uh, to a lot of my life experiences, and so I decided to give it a chance. And this review is going to be a little different than my usual reviews. Uh, it's going to get a little personal, I guess, because I feel like to properly talk about this game, I have to kind of talk about my own life experiences and how they relate to uh, what's shown in this game. And it's one of those games where if you don't really relate to the characters or what they went through, uh, at a certain point in your life, for instance. Uh, like, the characters in this game are, are quite a bit younger than I am. But at the age I was, uh, when the main character was, which is around 20 years old, I had a very similar, like, my life was in a very similar uh, state. Uh, and so when I talk about the story with this game, I'm going to kind of relate it to kind of my own uh, life experiences a bit. And that's one of the reasons why I really did appreciate this game, and I really did enjoy it. Now... As far as it, as it being an actual like game goes, uh, it's it's got some like platforming elements to it. Uh, there'll be times where uh, you'll have like these nightmare sequences where you have to do some like minor platforming and find these four musicians scattered across the map. And when you explore the city, you can do uh, like this triple jump type move. And there's a little bit of exploration where you can find like hidden areas on rooftops because uh, you play a cat. It's it, this game's weird where the characters are all uh, animals basically but at the same time it's like the game re deals with like real life situations and a lot of it is quite raw and emotional at times so it's it's I, I don't know exactly why they went with like the kind of uh, the animal character models but it, it's kind of endearing in its own way uh, maybe I don't know I don't, I don't know like, I'm not sure exactly why uh, the art style in this game is great I really like the paper cutout style look that this game has uh, but yeah, gameplay, there's really not too much to it. There's a few mini games you'll do uh, uh, throughout the game. Uh, there's like a music type based mini game where you have to basically press buttons in time with the music because you, you play at a ba in a band and you, you kind of play the bass. And some of those are actually kind of fun, but it's, it's, it's a little awkward and the, the hit detection is a little funky. And one of the mini games later, like one of the music mini games, is ridiculously difficult. Uh, it, which I th thought was kind of interesting. Uh, other than that, there's a few other different mini games we'll come across that aren't too aren't too crazy. Uh, they they kind of spice the game up a little bit, but most of the time playing this game, you're just gonna be walking around the town, talking to people, and getting to know uh, the people in this town uh, called Possum Springs, and then just basically hanging out with your your friends. And I guess now we'll we'll talk about the the story with this game. So the basic setup. Uh, like so, your your character is named uh, May Boros Borowski. I, I forget how to say the last name, but uh, you're a cat, a female cat, and you're 20 years old, and you're a college dropout, uh, and you're returning to your hometown of Possum Springs, which is like this, uh, basically is this economically depressed Rust Belt town, uh, and this is the kind of town that you see. Like this kind of town is all over like the U.S. and Canada as well. Uh, and it's this. This is where the, it's relatable to me. Uh, but anyways, the the main story basically has you returning to your hometown and, and seeing your old friends and hanging out with them. Uh, and then, basically, uh, for the first half of the game, there's actually not much of a story. You're just going day by day, talking to all your friends and hanging out with them, and getting to know the town, talking with your parents, uh, and kind of like that's. It's basically a lot of like world building in that way, and you know, getting to know all these different characters. But the actual storyline in this game doesn't actually uh, kick into into high gear until like the second half of the game, and it's really odd. It's really bizarre. Uh, it's it's 
it's almost supernatural in a way, but it has some different twists. But it's it's odd where like it doesn't really start until halfway into the game. And the way it all wraps up is is kind of like it feels really rushed. Uh, obviously there's like some metaphors and allegories with the story, but it didn't really work for me. I thought anytime the game focused on the actual story, uh, it kind of got bogged down and it just it just didn't fit. Like, I actually would have preferred if this game was just, like, a, a more casual experience where every day you go to hang out with your friends. And there are, like, little quest lines you'll find. For instance, if you hang out with one of your friends uh, constantly, uh, you'll end up having, like, a final hangout, which is, like, a, uh, which is, like, the end of the quest line, where they kind of all, you know, where the character's story has its kind of re re resolution. Uh, and kind of, like, the relationship... You'll see, like, the relationship between the two, the two characters... Uh, and it's like that stuff I really liked in this game. I really loved the character, the character development here. Uh, the actual dialogue, a lot of it is fairly clever, a lot of it's sharp, a lot of it's witty. Some of it's a little cheesy, some of it's a little, I don't know, off-putting in, in some ways, but for the most part I really didn't enjoy it. But the actual story in this game is weird. It just, it's, it feels like it's like some, from some totally different game. Uh, it almost feels like they they wanted they felt like they needed to have some kind of story. So they just threw in this weird uh, story that I really can't actually talk about all that much because it would be delving into spoilers. But yeah, I, I wasn't a fan of it. I thought it was fairly dull and uninteresting, and the way it wrapped up was just really bizarre. Uh, yeah, it's it's basically like the entire third act of this game that's that really kind of falters. And some of the gameplay bits in this game can be annoying too. Uh, there's definitely some padding in this game. Uh, the the parts I mentioned before, where you're like doing like minor platforming, finding like these musicians, like the nightmare sequences, like those I felt really didn't add much to the game. Uh, they're really abstract in a way that I just did not care for. Uh, and they just I don't know, they just felt like padding to me. They were kind of a slog to go through. Uh, and sometimes it's really, it can be a little tough to tell which parts of the environments you can, like, jump on. Uh, so I got stuck a, f a few times in these sequences, and yeah, I, I did, didn't really care for them. But uh, let's, let's get into the parts of this game I did enjoy, and that's, again, the characters, the dialogue, the story. But like I was saying before, uh, you come to this town, and it's, it's this, like, ec economically depressed town, and... Where this game is relatable to me is at this age uh, that I was, uh, like the the main character, uh, I, I you know I went to college around the same age when I was like around twenty, like right after high school, and it was one of those situations where I I really felt kind of pushed into it, but I really didn't know what I wanted to do at that time. I was kind I was quite naive, and I just you know I didn't I didn't know what I wanted to do. And the main character in this game is kind of in the same situation. And the reason she drops out, there's a few different reasons, which I don't really want to spoil, but uh, this is a character who's not sure uh, of her place in the world at this point. Uh, she's very naive. She's not like me in a lot of different ways. The main character in this game is, I think, extremely fascinating because some of the choices, the dialogue choices you have, are the kind of choices where you don't actually want to say any of this. Uh, she, she really speaks her mind, and it backfires in a lot of ways. Uh, she's quite immature, but a lot of it is kind of, there's a reason why she acts the way she does. But I can see some people finding her just to be actually annoying. Uh, and, you know, she's got a moment, like, humor. Like, she's definitely a humorous character. But a lot of her personality is definitely off-putting. Uh, she's immature and naive in a way that's kind of frustrating. But I think that's kind of relatable. I think a lot of people in her, at, at, at the point in her life, you know, your early 20s, uh, late teens, where, you know, the college life where you're not sure what, really what you want to be doing. Um, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people can kind of put put themselves in her shoes. I certainly could, even though her character, I'm not like her at all. Uh, I'm definitely way more reserved. She's what I would call, like, an extroverted character, uh, and I'm definitely not that type of, that type of person. Um... But yeah, uh, her friends at, are also really in-depth as well. I really like a lot of the characters in this game. My favorite one was uh, Bea, Beatrice. Uh, I thought she was an extremely relatable character. Um, this game can definitely get, like, it's got moments of humor, but it's really uh, raw and emotional at times, which I definitely appreciated as well. It deals with a lot of uh, important themes as well, uh, anxiety, depression, 
uh, all sorts of different different things. And I thought the dialogue was like really well written for the most part. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of had a very similar experience to this main character where I, I, I went to college and I dropped out because I wasn't enjoying it. Uh, and it just, I just didn't feel like it's where I should be, uh, which her, the character in this game, she keeps mentioning college wasn't, wasn't where I felt I should be. Uh, obviously there's other, there's other reasons for her dropping out, which I don't really want to spoil. Uh, but a lot of her friends in this game are jealous of her, uh, cause she actually was able to go to college. Uh, you know, this is a, a town where a lot of people end up, uh, you know, either finishing or, in a lot of cases, not finishing high school, and then just, you know, taking on these really kind of depressing, uh, well, not really depressing jobs, but, you know, your kind of blue-collar, uh, you know, jobs where they, you know, people don't get to go to college, uh, you know, and, and a lot of these towns, that's that's kind of the case. And where I'm from in the in rural Canada, it's very similar to the the town that's in this game. Uh, it's a very depressed, depressing place where where businesses are always opening and then closing within months, uh, where jobs are hard to find, where people leave it, are leaving in droves, uh, and that was so relatable to me. Uh, the town in this game reminded me so much of of my hometown, and. Uh, you know, and I had, the, again, the same experience where I ended up going to college when a lot of people, unfortunately, weren't able to, uh, and then ended up dropping out and then coming back, uh, you know, and, and seeing all my old friends. Now, obviously, you know, since, since that point now, I've left once again, uh, but I, it's, it's, I don't know, it, it was very relatable to me, a lot of, like, the themes, uh, and the characters in this game are, are really great to hang out with, uh, and... Yeah, I don't know. I, I just it was so relatable to me that I, I really did end up uh, enjoying it. But I have to say, if you're if you're someone that uh, just the characters just don't do anything for you, or you just don't have like relatable experiences, I wonder if uh, you would like this game as much. Uh, I I I think so because I've heard a lot of people praise the game, but uh, I don't know. It's weird. Now, I don't love this game. I really don't love it like a lot of people do. I just, I don't know, I maybe needed something a bit more out of it gameplay-wise. And again, it can be a bit of a slog at times. Like I was saying before, the story, just the actual story in this game just didn't work for me. Um, but the characters, the characters are, are just are quite good. Uh, Beatrice was definitely my favorite character. I, anytime I had the chance, chance to hang out with her, I did. Uh, I ended up finishing her, her quest line. Uh, but Greg is another uh, great character as well. Almost every character in this game is is, is really well done. Uh, the parents are especially well done, I think. Uh, that was that was a highlight for the game is for me as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, visuals uh, like I was saying before, kind of like a paper cutout type style with some interesting character designs. Uh, the journal that you're seeing here is is quite interesting as well. She kind of like jots down all these things in her journal. Um, it's, yeah, it's a fairly attractive art style. The game hitches at times. I don't know if the PC version does, but the PS4 version I was playing definitely hitched at times, which was a little distracting. Uh, but I do like, uh, I do like the colors that are used in this game, and just, I don't know, it's got a very vibrant uh, look to it, uh, that I, that I really did like. Uh, audio-wise, the soundtrack is really good in this game, actually. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to describe. Uh, it's got like a very homely kind of feel to it. Uh, it reminds me of like the Mother series in a lot of ways, and actually it reminded, reminded me of Undertale a little bit as well. Uh, definitely nowhere near as good as the soundtrack in that game, but I really did enjoy it in this game. Uh, a lot of the songs just like felt almost got me like nostalgic in a weird way. Uh, a lot of like kind of like slower kind of like again like I was saying before like homely. Uh, kind of songs like definitely it's more like cheerful kind of songs like uh, nothing like super dramatic or anything but uh, definitely fit the tone of the game I would say uh, and if you're seeing the footage from this uh, you're probably noticing it's a little like like the, the like based on the writing it's definitely it seems more humorous in tone and it's definitely it's it's definitely like it gives you that sense but the game can get quite dark at times like I was surprised at how dark and just real uh, this game can get with its dialogue, especially the ending conversation with Beatrice, uh, which I thought was exceptionally well done. Uh, but yeah, uh, audio, uh, like as far as like the music goes, I was I'm quite impressed by. I, I think it's one of the highlights of the game. Um, 
but uh, yeah, I mean that about covers it. It's it's again, like I was saying before, it's a fairly small game. Uh, it will take you around seven to eight hours to finish, so it's it's not very long. Uh, it's a very you know kind of small indie game, but I, I really did like it. I, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, nothing nothing amazing or anything. Like I, I'm not sure this is going to be a game that makes my top ten games of the year, for instance. Uh, just because it's been such a strong year. Uh, if it were any other year, it might have had a chance, but uh, I, I, I did quite enjoy it. If it seems like something up your alley, uh, if the characters and the setting and the story seem uh, like something you could get into, I would definitely recommend it. I think it's definitely worth playing. It's not going to be for everyone. This is definitely not a game for everyone. Some people are going to simply despise it. I can, I can almost, I can definitely see uh, a fairly big subset of people just not caring for the game at all. I do think it's had its, it has its flaws. I, I don't know, maybe some people like the story. I didn't care for it. It has its dull moments. The nightmare sequences are a drag. Uh, some of the writing is definitely not, uh, not, not my thing, but, uh, Overall, it was an enjoyable spirit experience. Definitely re recommend it if you're looking for something a little, maybe even a little outside your comfort zone. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.